Let's start from the simplest system that we have, so a cesspool. A cesspool is uh, just a holding tank, um, so it will have one inlet point and no outlet point, which means that everything, all the waste that goes in by the inlet is retained within that tank, uh, where there is absolutely no treatment happening. And that tank is uh, pretty much going to hold that waste for a specific period of time, um, and then that will need to be emptied, and then it starts again. Moving on, uh, we have um, septic tanks. So that's a step ahead of uh, a cesspool. Uh, septic tanks will have an inlet point and an outlet point, and it will also have a partition wall at the in the middle of the tank, um, with, or, or a baffle. Uh, and what that baffle da does is that when the incoming waste comes in, it retains the solids within the primary chamber of the tank, uh, leaving the effluent or the liquid part, uh, if you will, uh, going into the second chamber and then going out of the outlet point to a drainage field. Uh, the more advanced option that we have is a, a treatment plant. Uh, so as the name suggests, what it does, it will treat the waste coming in. So again, it has an inlet point and an outlet point. It will have chambers, so it will have a primary chamber and a secondary chamber, or more chambers, depending on the system. Um, so we have the incoming waste, and uh, after that, we, have the, we introduce ox oxygen into the tank. Um, that oxygen will keep the bacteria alive that will naturally grow in the waste. Um, and then uh, the solids will be retained in the tank leaving the effluent, so the treated water, uh, going out of the tank from the outlet point, uh, either to a drainage field or to a watercourse.